Welcome back everybody. Last time we took on the Harrier and that was a real pain in the ass. And this is Wolf of Fallen and we're going to do some aerial acrobatics. Woo! Oh, hey, cool, I got it. Hey, you got to flip over that. Make sure you don't walk off the side there. And we're getting a phone call. Only time I know of that you ever get a phone call and it's goddamn email. I mean, what's the point in having... you have freaking the Kodak system. Why would you need a phone? Anyways. Yeah, you have to flip over that. That's where I get most of my deaths. Because it's, sometimes it's hard to angle them. But for our trouble, we get the AK suppressor. AK suppressor? Meet AK. Now we have a silence AK. Sweet, eh? Woo! And now I get a lot of... A lot of deaths. Trying to flip over that. And I got a lot of... I get a lot of deaths here. Because I don't look down first before dropping. And then these two idiots come out. This is not a pretty sight. No, no, it's not. Hurry up and check the situation. All right, so I previously recorded this, and I kept dying a lot because of these two idiots. There we go. Just kill them like that. Flip. Change the ammo. Yay! What they do is they walk along that guardrail there and you have to get by without them seeing you, but I have never been able to do it. Yeah, no, the cell phone is, it's a really stupid concept because you, you have the Kodak, why would you use the cell phone? And somebody could easily tell you to use coolant. I don't know if you, if you like, take forever to do something maybe? Oh, that was close. Oh, here you have to do completely unnatural. I don't think you'd ever... I have tried testing this theory, and I don't think you could physically, humanly do this. Unless Raiden has, like, some sort of sticky boots. You'd tip over. Uh, you're kidding me. Oh my god. Just stick close to the wall. Oh, I got it on me. I got it on me. Oh my god, that is gross. That is gross. I got it on me. I got it freaking on me. Oh. I don't think there's any way you can... Well, you can shoot a bullet that would... I think that would distract him. Probably would have been the best idea for me to do, because otherwise I wouldn't have piss on my head right now. Rations are full. Uh, let's take all these out. It's just easier to shoot them down. So basically the game gets real lazy at this point. You, you can't, like this is as far as you go, you can't explore the rest of the, you can look at them. Power plant and J. Biochem lab and K. Sewer treatment facility and L. Oil processing facility and G. Warehouse and H. Assembly f uh, facility and J. Uh, it's like they got really lazy and just they didn't want to program crap ho 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 that was close it's like they just got lazy and they didn't want to program any other areas which it kind of pissed me off and when they came out with the expansion game the subsistence i was hoping you'd be able to actually like maybe they'd have a second part to the story where you get to play as um Pliskin disassembling the bombs, but you never get to do that. Oh. My father had some unfinished business with him. Uh, yeah. Then screw 
your plan. I've been waiting for this day for two years, and I will send you to the bottom of the ocean. As to my old man. The launch comes first. Damn it. Where is Ocelot? Not here. Don't talk that way about one of your own. He's not one of my own. He must be part of this plan. He must be part of this plan. Copy. We need to get started on the final checks for the unit. All right. I'm headed back there. The upper connecting bridge to Shell 1 is down. What about the chopper? The cam off is out of action. Take the oil fence from strut L. I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Sweet. Their retrieval comes last. The intruder's still at large. Snake. What about the other man? He's got luck on his side, certainly. Apparently, because you're not turning around. I know. No one gets in here. Turn the currents on. Turn the currents on. High voltage currents on. Anybody remember this from the first the game? Stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. All right. Damn straight. Come back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course. That was part of the agreement. Do to do to do. We start living for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich soldiers are the cream of the crop. It's time they went free. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again one last time. Don't try anything on us. The feeling is mutual. Alright, who wants to guess what we're gonna do next? In front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything alright. No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Well, thank you. Suggestions? Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. Right. But make sure you don't hit the president. The president is wired with nanomachines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. Oh, of course. That's why Ames lost contact with him. But my remote control system, missiles will still work. Into the node. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. I will. All right, there's the prez. Not really doing anything back there, Nikita. M9. Don't worry, there's no one here. Except gum cameras. I'll just kind of plaster chaff. And we'll get it nothing. Chaff. Yeah, they really... I think they just really wimped out, and they could have put a lot more into the game, but they, they just didn't. I mean, they could have put a whole section with... You could have continued fighting on in, like, a whole entire other shell. If you come here and... Do this, you can knock on the wall, which will distract the president. There's only one place to go. Can I... Can I... 
Thank you. Yeah, they just got really low. Like, this, this is pretty much the end of the game, people. I mean, you're not going to be facing off with any more soldiers anytime soon. Like, things are pretty quiet for the next little while. It's mostly just story and and fighting. That's all it is. There's nothing else to this game after this. Like, see, I didn't even have to deal with any soldiers or anything. Anyways, let's go first one. If you contact me how to swim, I am going to be pissed. Oh, he is too. Is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. I'm fine with swimming. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left analog stick. Up will take you up. Down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. Yeah, it's complicated. The gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. I know. Alright. So let's swim here. If I don't get drunk. Swim over here. Okay, a little hard to control. If you can... Night vision goggles? If you press the triangle button at the same time, you'll actually slow down your breath at the same time as you're swimming. So you can last a little bit longer, but it's it's a little difficult to work with. I th I don't know if your life gauge will continue to fill if you have your rations automatically equipped, but I'm I'm pretty sure as soon as all your life goes and you're underwater, you die whether you have rations equipped or not. Half expecting Ryan to like shake. Oh, and the elevator's here. I mean, I when they made the subsistence, I was kind of hoping that you would have got to play. They would have done miniature stories with you playing as. Oh, get off! No, stop that. As Pliskin doing the bomb disposal. But. They never did that. Knock on the wall there. Get him distracted for a bit. Otherwise things can go really bad. The president has a tendency to get in the way when you fire this thing. So, just like before. I probably shouldn't be using the analog stick. And kaboom, mothers! So there we go. We got that all said and done. Also, you won't punch. You'll actually do a hard swing. I think this knocks out enemies in one hit. I oh, know it's hard. Depending on what weapon you have equipped, I think if you have the rifles equipped, it does a little more damage than your regular punch, as well as the uh, like. If you have the handgun equipped, you'll do more damage, knocking the enemy out a little easier. If you have the rifles equipped, it, they fall like in one less hit. And if you have the RPG equipped, I think it, they don't. They'll fall even quicker. So I think it knocks off about one point depending on what you have equipped in your hand. All right, uh, show you that. Woo! Night vision, green, all good. Uh, what else? See, I thought it just would have been cool if you could have you could have gone to the other areas, but flowing to the floor in front of the room that the president's being held really kind of pisses me off but head for the first floor of the shell 2 core hurry get in touch with the president before the nuclear launch code is reconfirmed all right i'll be doing that colonel Pliskin was snake after all according to him mm -hmm. listen Ryden. i'll say it again 
He is not in the simulation. What simulation? The simulation again. Don't put your faith in him. Don't trust him. Do you understand? Yeah. Have you ever heard of Outer Heaven? Outer Heaven? Yeah. Know anything? No. What about it? The terrorist leader mentioned it. Something about being close to reviving Outer Heaven. Hmm. Is that right? Well, do you know anything? No. But whatever their goal is, they're probably up to no good. Probably. We've got to stop them. Yeah, right. And we will. But we'll stop in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. Bye.